Happy spring, my incredible NAAR members. First, I want to thank each of you for your cooperation as we deal with the current pandemic. We appreciate everyone's efforts to cooperate with the COVID-19's precautionary and preventative measures. We know this has been difficult for everyone. Secondly, it's important to note that these challenges, disruptors, and shifts in the market are inevitable, right? It's in how we deal with them that makes all the difference. I ask that you not let fear cause you to withdraw from your business or influence how you manage your business. Because as FDR said it best, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. As born problem solvers, we realtors are some of the most resilient, tenacious, and courageous individuals. There's no doubt that we will experience many challenges as we deal with this crisis, but we will get through this. And I believe this is an opportunity for us to rise and excel personally and professionally. In fact, I believe we remain in this business because we thrive on challenges. So here's the next one, strap in and hold on. For those of you that dealt with the challenges of the Great Recession and are still in this business, you know what it takes to survive when the market flips upside down. You know that buyers and sellers will need us more than ever during these times. This is an opportunity to prove to them the value we bring to real estate, an opportunity to maximize your potential as a professional. No doubt we're seeing a pause in the market and change is coming. This may mean less business activity in general for you. Again, this is an opportunity to better your business. Some of the training and tools you've been putting on the back burner can now be a focus so that when this all plays out, you're ready to come out ahead and prepared and be an asset to your clients and the community, an even greater one, right? In the meantime, we'll all need to be aware of how clients are reacting to the situation and be considerate to their concerns. Ensure you're getting sellers permission to show the home, for instance. You can set up a sanitation section at the entry with booties, hand sanitizer, masks if you can find them, hazmat suits, whatever, to try and conduct business and support your clients as best as possible. Turn social distancing into online engagement. Virtual showings and virtual open houses can offer a solution. Instill a level of confidence that despite the chaos, they can still rely and trust you to get the job done professionally. By taking a business as usual approach with some modifications on how it's conducted, you're instilling confidence and comfort at a time we all need it the most. And please, and most importantly, Protect yourself and your family by not exposing yourself unnecessarily either. And remember, stay positive. You can encourage your clients the same with reminding them that there's still a lot to be enthusiastic about. Interest rates are still historically low with phenomenal loan programs that can put more buyers into homes than ever before. And sellers who have continued to wait a little longer, riding that upward trend of equity, may now decide to list and sell before the economy could play a greater role in home values. This could release the much needed inventory into the market. This shift may just allow a stabilizing effect to tip the scales toward a buyer's market or maybe even just a normal market. We could see Flagstaff become more affordable and allow more home ownership opportunities where there weren't before or just haven't been in a really long time. Lastly, I wanna thank each of you for your commitment to the real estate industry. I'm going to be asking each of you to continue your commitment and not let fear guide your choices. Instead of fear, focus. Focus on your business. Focus on what you can do right now and in the few coming weeks that will better it. Here's an interesting fact. Did you know that 90% of the stuff we worry about will never actually happen? This is not a pass to live carefree, but some freedom in the burden you may put on yourself. I know, hard for us type A's to comprehend that, I understand. But it's important that we take chaos and crisis and focus with rational and meaningful behaviors. This too shall pass. Focus on where you want to be when it does. Be a source of professionalism and compassion for your clients and the community. And with that, I have one more request to ask for now. Your board of directors and committee chairs are going to be collaborating to develop ideas and efforts to help the community in as many ways as we can, from assisting the small businesses to feeding the needy and collecting supplies for seniors. More information will be sent out, but if you would like to help and join our force of awesomeness in this effort, please reach out to me or any of your favorite board members or committee chairs. Not only is helping others who we are as realtors, but it empowers us to take control of what we can, thereby lessening the fear and allowing us to focus on moving forward. Thanks so much to each of you and have a wonderful weekend.